driving. This doesn't look good. I mean, here we are riding around this guy. He's, he's flatlander drives in the middle of the road. Come on, we're switching places. Well, this is just rude. Well, on behalf of the Kentucky Valley Education Cooperative, we want to welcome you back to the On the Road with Danny and Robert. And today we're finishing up part two of kind of a drone theme. Uh, you know, last time I think you drove as well. I did, too, didn't you? and I'm liking it real well. You this know, driving routine, you know, I'm liking this a lot better than you driving. Except the last, if I remember correctly, when we did our last drone thing, we lost that drone while you were driving. So uh, I was driving the car, you were driving the drone, if well, you remember correctly, with your head hung out the window trying to see it and find it. And if I also remember correctly, you're the one that was supposed to supposedly training me to fly the drone, and I guess you didn't do a pretty well, good job. Well, Chad trained you. So I anyway. Just, what you did, you had me driving down a strip mine in my car looking for a drone. Well, we're getting ready to pull out, but don't pull out yet. I don't want you crashing into it. I won't there. crash into the problem. I mean, here comes another person coming by. Yes, we're. All right. <laughs> On the road. On the road again. All right, so so Danny, we are heading down to Breathy County, and I'm really excited about today because actually there's students in the building. That's exciting. Uh, the last uh, area technical school we went down Knott so County. Notice. Notice I give a turn signal. You did give a turn signal. And I also noticed while I was talking, and I, and and I you stopped, cut me off. And I stopped and looked to make sure there's no cars coming. In mid sentence, I can never get a sentence in. But, mm. but I'm glad you did look. But we yep. went down to the Knott County Air Technical Center, and, there, and we had a great visit, and we were missing students. So today we're getting to go to Brenton County Area Technical Center. And uh, we are going to see students in action, thank goodness. So can you give us a little background on the teacher we're going to see and, and okay. exactly what's going to be happening today? Okay, we're going to see uh, Kenneth Spicer today. He's a new teacher there at Breathitt County. He's been there a couple of years, and uh, he does a real good job with those kids. He teaches law and justice, law enforcement program. And uh, he's a former retired police chief there of Jackson. So uh, he's got a lot of background to bring to the classroom and does a real good job with those kids and uh, I'm, I'm excited to see the drone portion of the class you know he does a lot of stuff he'll tell us more about that when we get there but with the uh, forensics uh, crime scene investigation all that kind of thing and uh, even traffic stops he covers but they've also decided to add drones to the program to add that dimension and it's going to be something that's really needed in the future I believe and uh, we're real excited about that addition he's got going on there and, and we're going to see how us at KVIC can help out with some of that well, that is exciting because you know when you think about things happening, especially this area, you know there's always you know fires, search and rescue, and I can see drones being part of all that work as well, uh, and helping find folks. So, so anyway, we're going to be driving on to uh, Breathitt County while we're on the road, and we can't wait to get there. Well, we have a I teach a law enforcement criminal investigation class. This is my introduction to uh, criminal justice, and I was showing them on um, like. Uh, say like a murder case like outside or either a hostage situation or anything like that how you, you could use a drone right. to keep officers safe take pictures of stuff that's uh, that is uh, pertinent to the investigation we actually when I was police chief we had a person that was in the, in the river and we took pictures of him using the drone a little before we was moving him because they're in a, in a situation like that you know, you can't get in the water and Search without and without, yeah, right. without without disturbing the scene. So we was able to fly our drone over him and take pictures. Accident scenes, if you have a major accident scene, you can fly it up and take a picture of overhead, well, see yeah. where the skid marks and stuff are. Save so man time, oh, man yeah. errors, and power. And, and you know, like if uh, you had a situation where there's a bomb in a vehicle near, a, you know, a, a place that is really important, you know, a school or a, or a city hall or courthouse or something you can fly it and actually real-time view look inside the vehicle yeah. and that's what we we try to show them how important these things new technology is and launch so how many drones you got we got this one it was on actually on a grant a community giving grant from Walmart it's a Mavic 2 our local Walmart uh, gave us a thousand dollars to buy this to show the kids the technology that we have uh, at this time no, no agency in Breath County has one, really? so if they needed one, we could actually take it, come and get it, and take it and help them as well with, uh, That's great. with our technology. They actually, the iPhone they use, they actually use the iPhone. 
with the drones that you're using right now, how are your students going to be using Well, my this? program is fairly new, mm -hmm. and I've got a, a student that is, I've only got one student that is like a level four. He is, uh, and he's only virtual right now. I've tried to get him to come in and, and do some of this, and we've, I've even offered to go to his house. He owns a, they own a farm, and he's actually tested, and he's actually made it career college ready for law enforcement, criminal justice in, in this program. Okay. But he's the only one I've got. I, see, I taught it part-time last year while I was still policing. Yeah. And this year I came here full-time as a teacher. So I've got one one student that is college and career ready for this, and he'd be the one that you'd be able to apply. They're actually the ones that you can actually put in like the Quonsie hut up here and, okay. and use the school security and stuff, like the work study type stuff. So for a novice like me, you said level four, what's that mean? It means he's went to, he's done uh, introduction law enforcement, law enforcement, uh, health and wellness, and then he's done uh, criminal investigations. Okay. He's done all four of my classes. So we were talking to Mr. Spicer, and he said there was some folks, he was hoping some girls would get to law enforcement. And you said you're interested in law enforcement. Alright, first of all, tell, tell us your name. Haley Oaks. And what's, what grade are you? I'm a senior. You're a senior. Okay, Haley. Hey, now, what, what would draw you into law enforcement? What's your interest? Um, well, I'm hoping to make it to like an FBI agent, maybe. Oh, yeah. Um, I just love helping people and uh, I feel like the FBI would give me a shot at getting rid of some real bad people. I just feel like it would give me a chance to make a bigger difference. Well, that'd be awesome. I had an uncle that was an FBI and he loved it because he got to do exactly what you, you said. He was able to get to investigate to make a difference to look for some of those things other law enforcement did. Yeah. So that's, a, that's great. So, uh, so you're a senior this year and think about Two years ago, this opportunity wasn't even here, was it? No. I mean, uh, they've got Mr. Spicer on board, and he's doing a real good job, and uh, investigations. I'm sure you're doing some crime scene investigations or learning about some of that stuff through the internet. Yeah. And, uh, and that's that's an opportunity, that, like I said, that wasn't here before, and you're right at a good time in Yeah. Um, whenever I was a sophomore, I took psychology classes because I was interested in, you know, being able to read people so that then I could be more efficient at, you know, like... Right. Well, they can tie together, couldn't Yeah. I said that VI worked very well. Yeah. That's some criminal so, investigations I've ever heard of, so... Well, Hattie, thank you for speaking with us today, and good luck on your future endeavors. Thank you all so much. Thank you. What's your day? Oh. What's your name? <laughs> Tegan Martin. Well, nice to have you here. Now, with this criminal justice, what what particular topic within that are you interested in? I'm really interested in like being a homicide detective. Homicide detective. Why? Because I really like to like solve murders, and I really like this class a lot. I'm really passionate about it. So. Okay. Oh, good. But having that passion is what really gets you going. So, what's what year are you in? Your 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 eighth grade. So you have four years you can go through to get through all your levels so you can be that person. So watching these drones and thinking about some of the things you talk about, what interests you in being able to possibly use drones in your homicide investigations? Um, I really want to learn to use one because I feel like it might be helpful because in some situations you can't really see some things. Like mm -hmm. if you have to get up high in a window, I feel like that's what it would be helpful for. So I really want to learn how to use yeah. If you were to be out on a field somewhere and you know there's a there's a situation what do you see yourself doing in that situation um i'm not really sure i feel like i'd have to figure it out in the moment so again we're, we're here with mr spicer at the rest of air technical school we're really excited we're centering we're excited you invited us here so if you had to have a vision of what should we do with the drones and with your students what how would you like to see your program go well, you know, I'm a career law policeman. I spent 25 years policing in my community. And, uh, you know, to my knowledge, we've not had a, a girl from this community come back to police. Here. I'd like to see one of these girls become a police officer, invite me to their uh, graduation one of these days at one of the police academies in the state. And I, I like sharing the love of this, of my career. Me and Mr. Vance talked about yeah. this before. Yeah. I love law enforcement. That's what I've done all my life. That's what I always wanted to do. And that's how, how I, I share with these kids and want them to see that what they see on the news is not what every policeman is. Yeah. You know, that's one tenth of one percent of one pol that one policeman done something bad. Yeah. And I show them a, a aspect of it that policemen care. Policemen want to see them do good in life. Want to see them do everything that they can. And this drone is just one part of it. To show them to get them interested because these kids are into technology. They're into their phones and stuff like that. And it incorporates all that into it to the to the system. You know, yeah. so. If, if you can use things that they use every day, that it's, it makes it a more interesting day for them. And I know you got girls in your class, and so maybe some of them will 
pick up. That, that's what I want to see. You know, I, I know a couple of women that have went away from here and, and actually worked in the state law enforcement or the Lakes Metro. I actually know one that is a, actually a federal agent of the agriculture department. But I want to see these girls come back and police this community because it's a it's a growing field that that don't need to have all the bad public publications uh, that you see. I'm glad to you know have the opportunity to work with you the last couple of years as like a mentor coach, and uh, this is your first year as a full time scale teacher yeah. and doing a great job. And I mean, a lot of new teachers do well just to get started off in a program, but here you are doing all the things your program uh, calls for, plus trying to do the drones and and bringing new technology in there. And, and you ought to be commended for the good job you do here and bringing those opportunities to these kids that they might not otherwise have. Sometimes when you can, I mean, you've talked about this before, you can throw real life stuff in there. It makes a right. big difference in these kids' lives. And that's why we like what we do as uh, hands-on technical teachers uh, because you do have those experiences from the job that you can bring into the classroom. You know, like we said, you know, like we talked about flying and, and not being able to have a body that out there in the, the river or, or someplace that, uh, uh, that you can't, Disturb because you got to disturb water or, or something to get to it and this right here is a technology and you know like I said You know there's bigger agencies probably going to use this in, in crime scenes they are going to use it in hostage negotiations SWAT call outs uh, Accident investigation scenes and everything. I mean and it's going to be something that Is going to grow you know like the power company over the winter time they used to check power lines right. save people from climbing mountains get them to get them done quicker so. Well, that's, uh, we're we're excited for KVEC, you know, to have the drone part there that Chad and the guys do over there, and then maybe tie in with you guys, and because it is a growing field, it's going to just continue to grow. Everybody's going to use them. For it's it. Easter weekend, maybe those kids can get one of hunt Easter eggs. That's right, you know, just kind of change. <laughs> that's what they yeah. can do. Yeah. yeah. Well, we appreciate all you've done with us for law enforcement in your past, and we really appreciate what you do with your kids. I appreciate you. We appreciate your time and. On behalf of the Kentucky Valley Education Cooperative, we'll holler at you later. Holler at you later.